This product is the Omron Heart Scan. It's designed as a specific tool for use by GPs or for home use by patients in order to screen ECGs, particularly looking for arrhythmia. The device is completely handheld and is powered by two standard AAA batteries, which will probably last for over one year in use. The device has the instructions for use displayed on screen every time when you switch it on. So the patient or the user does not have to remember how to use the device, they just need to follow the pictures and the written instructions on the screen. The device requires no gel or skin preparation and is completely handheld. In order to take an ECG with the Omron heart scan, you place your right index finger on the two rear electrodes and the electrode at the front is used to position on the skin of the patient, not through clothing, in the V4, V5 position just below the left nipple. The device is then held in place and the start button is pushed. It needs to remain there for 30 seconds. During those 30 seconds there is an audible beep. Each beep indicates one second of elapsed time and does not equate to an actual heartbeat of the patient. At the end of the 30 second period there will be three beeps which indicates that the reading is complete and the electrodes can now be removed from the skin. The device has a memory capacity of 300 readings which are taken and stored on an SD card. The device itself will store automatically any readings which are designated to have been abnormal. The ECG itself can be reviewed on screen and scrolled through backwards and forwards and also carries a message. This message on this one says stable waveform indicating that there is no abnormality in the ECG. If there is an abnormality, the device automatically stores that result to the SD card. The list which is available of all stored ECGs has an indicated letter at the end. All those with A are normal stable waveform. So if a patient has been borrowing this and taking recordings and then brings it back you do not have to look at all of the A's unless you want to because you know they are normal stable. Letters such as J, K and L indicate that there was an abnormality within that reading and therefore the results may well be of interest to you. As well as being able to store 300 ECGs within the machine there is a download capacity with the optional software package which allows you to transfer the results from this device and its SD card into a laptop computer or desktop computer to allow you to print or email the results to somebody else. With the software package you can download the results onto a computer and individual ECGs can be highlighted and then brought up to a full screen view to allow you to more closely analyze the actual waveform. With a printer attached to your computer you can then print this result onto a plain piece of A4 paper and the machine software will allow for the grid to be printed in the background. In this form it can be scanned and added to patients notes or attached to an email and then emailed to a cardiologist or another doctor to look at the results as well. Um, the benefit of this is that this allows you to get a second opinion and reduce referral rates from primary care to secondary care hospitals. This device is absolutely ideal for patients with transient events as the patient can keep it with them in order to pick up an event when it occurs whereas some 24-hour type monitors and some event recorders have a limited period during which you can actually uh, record results. 
whereas this can stay with the patient until the event definitely occurs. The other use for this is it's an absolutely ideal tool for use in a GP practice for AF screening. Um, the device will take a 30 second ECG strip in the same, roughly the same time it takes to take a blood pressure, you can actually get an on-screen view of an ECG taken with the device and watched back on the device or transferred to a computer in order to be able to print it.